how well everybody knows their seniors. Okay. So you are seniors, so uh, what is the date of your wedding? August 31st, 2013. We uh, just completed our save the dates. They'll be coming out to everybody, so. Well, it's wedding. I don't know, he's good, too good to give me an invite. <laughs> Not quite sure yet. Actually, they haven't gone out yet. So. No, he was telling me about yesterday. He finally got their uh, cards all ready to go, so he's pretty excited about that. What is your favorite NHL team? Uh, Chicago Blackhawks. Honest favorite NHL team. Cool. Uh, I'm Colorado. Minnesota. How many siblings do you have and what are their names? I have two brothers. The middle one is Levi and the youngest one is Ethan. I'm going to go with three but I have no idea what their names are. I have no idea what their names are but uh, I know he's got a brother floating around Bodno somewhere. Maybe a couple brothers? I would hope he doesn't have a sister. Me? Yeah. Uh, born? Well, I was born in the hospital in Regina, but I'm from Clive. City? Regina? I think. Favorite movie? Um, I say Transformers. Any of them? I've never talked Fiddler in my life. Uh, Scarface. What's your favorite movie? Uh, probably uh, Made in Manhattan. My favorite book, well I've really been into the Fifty Shades of Grey lately, uh, it's been my big one right now, I've just been reading tons of those, so that's uh, my book, Choice. Something with probably men's health, something like that. The seniors finished out their last home game on a high note with a 4-2 victory over Arizona State. Junior Cam Magoo netted a goal five minutes into the game off a counterattack play with the assist coming from freshman Brett Nesper and senior Eric Erbel. Arizona's Stephen Collins got the equalizer goal for the Sun Devils with just under 10 minutes left in the period. Before the first period was over, however, senior Jordan Willard put the Beavers up by one with the assist from senior Dan Lamb and freshman Brody Hagar. Herbal added to the Beavers' lead on a power play with almost 14 minutes left in the second. 
Magoo and freshman Dallas Drysdale were credited with the assists. Nesper got a goal of his own to start the third period with junior Kyle Stevens with the assist. FaZe Khan netted a goal for the Sun Devils late in the third, but the Beavers maintained the lead to finish out the game. Junior goaltender Wyatt Waslenchuk made 34 saves in the Beavers' final game going into Nationals. Um, you know, being on a high heading in the Nationals is a big, big thing. It's obviously you want to ride the momentum all you can. And, you know, we're going to have either Niagara or University of Central Oklahoma who are both real good teams. And, you know, I've been on the losing end of a first round game and it's no fun. And um, you just use that as motivation and we want to, want to keep rolling from here. And how is the team feeling about those games? You know, it's the national tournament. It's one of those things where everybody comes to play. Every team is really good. They're there for a reason. And it's it's one of those things where every guys got to get up, get together, and uh, everybody's pretty excited and we're ready to go. And we just kind of get them to get on the bus and drive there. Last State men's club hockey team is riding a 15-game winning streak going into the Division I national tournament. A student-run business supports their efforts. Jamie Council has more on the story. Minot State men's hockey team is on a mission. They're on the road to Chicago in the third seed for the 2013 ACHA National Tournament with their sights set on their first ever national title. I think we're ready to go. The, the confidence in this group and the leadership in our locker room, I think the guys are going to be ready to go for nationals. But before they left to nationals, the Beaver Hockey Club team and a mission of a different sort joined forces. The Beaver Brew Cafe is a student-run business that not very many people know about. Um, part of, it's part of the entrepreneurship club at Minot State. A lot of business majors and major students from uh, all different majors, they come and uh, we make a lot of decisions on how to run the club. We, we built it right from the ground up. A meet and greet took place at the Beaver Brew Cafe for fans to give their final farewell to the boys. Um, it's kind of a fan support thing. Uh, we had a bunch of young kids come out and uh, we signed some autographs and stuff. Um, it's really important uh, for the fans to just kind of get to know the guys a little bit better. It kind of makes them feel like they're more more involved and they're really involved as uh, just as fans, but it kind of lets them be more of a family. Jamin Heller is part of the entrepreneurship club as well as a marketing intern for the hockey team. So it's a great opportunity and an easy connection to dual promote the two clubs. And uh, I think Beaver Hockey and Beaver Brew Cafe, they really mesh well together. As you can see, we got the jerseys on the wall, we got the guys here for the meet and greet. And, uh, you know, why not? Uh, it's a great, uh, two great organizations, and we're trying to build uh, the presence for both of them. So. The Beaver Brew Cafe has free Wi Fi, a big TV, and a nice atmosphere. The Beavers' first game in their quest for a national title is Saturday, March 2nd at 11.30 a.m. Reporting for Minot State, I'm Jamie Council. Catch the game live in the Beaver Brew Cafe as well in the Beaver Dam on campus. Again, this game is this Saturday at 11.30 a.m. And sophomore Mitch Peak had this episode's slow motion play of the week. Thank you for watching this episode of the Beaver Hockey Wire. For all your news and updates on the Beaver Hockey Club, both on and off the ice. This is Jamie Council signing off.